So we're sure for car charging is how to operate the OMI app. So when we've clicked through, we've clicked through signing with email on this. We find it a lot easier because you can generate your own password. So we're just going to input the credentials for the app. You do only have one account per charger. If you want it on a different device, just use the same login details. So now we've inputted these. We're generated with this menu here. So if we click on the get started, that will take us to the address section. If you input the first line of your address at the very top, it should find your property. But failing that, you can input them manually in the second section below. So as we input these details here, we can talk about the next section of the app, which is going to come through, which is adding your tariff. This doesn't have to be set from the start, but you can do it after. So we've skipped this for now. We're going to scan the QR code, which is located on the bottom of the charger, either on the Pro or the ePod. We're going to scroll through, select the make and model of the car. If your model is asking if you'd like to pair the vehicle, you can sign into your model account and that will give live data from the car. For this car in particular, this isn't an option, so we'll just do it this way. So now we've selected that, if we click continue, this shows us our settings. So we've just got what type of charge we've got. And then on this section here, we can see that the charger is online in the top right hand corner. We're going to set approve each plugin and lock the charger buttons. This stops anyone being able to use your charger. On here in the top left, we can change vehicle or add a second EV once you've done that. And then we have the adding your tariff. So you can scroll through or even add one if you're not going on to an EV tariff. And that is your usage section that shows you how much it's cost to charge.